ended up getting three up today. Uh, we were trying for four, but...
Let's see if we can do three today. We're gonna bring them up, we're gonna cut them here, and we're gonna take them over there and put it together because they're putting one on the other side directly across. Now see this one here? You put two on either side. That's seven inches wide now. Three, four, five, six, seven inches wide here. So there's not much here that is not, and look at, it's very short distance up there. Not much distance up there, there's just three, three by six. They're gonna be pretty sturdy, especially once we get our strap in on top, we get our pieces in here, holding everything together.
putting three up today. Uh, we were trying for four, but it's been raining here all day and it's almost freezing. It's not quite freezing. Well, we're freezing, but the temperature is almost freezing. Are you wet, Heather? Yeah. I'm soaked. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the front of your shirt. You're soaked. Yeah. My gloves are more, and this is my second pair. And oh yeah. And my hands, look yeah, at my hands. Yeah, your hands would be bad because you were doing like the little. Especially where I cut it when I was fixing that door. Yeah. No, That's a little good. tender. But anyways, yeah. But it is, uh, yeah, it's got some color to it. Anyways, we have two more milled here ready to go but like i say but it's almost it's just about dark anyways right now it's getting close to dark here so but we got three of them up in place i mean that's not too bad for today and we started really late we had company this morning so we didn't get it right at it um let's step over here and show you what it looks like and we're going to bring down our tools uh, this was supposed to be rain by now wasn't or snow by now wasn't it's it heather supposed to turn to snow, yeah. yeah so this rain was supposed to be snow Anyways, there's how it is looking. Right there. There we go. Um, can I zoom in or get my hand in the way? That's what they look like. They will get straightened up as I do the strapping up there. But uh, they're pretty strong. Just over eight foot rough two by six on either side of them sandwiched and those are three by six running up there and they're on two foot centers so we use that block in between but uh yeah i don't have this one yet screwed down the one on the left but three there so we just got to put one more on the other side and then we go get that timber the two timbers and we put those up there they have to be uh, uh not quite uh 14 feet tall not quite 14 feet long they have to be just under that For, from the roof to the top of that uh ridge beam up there is 14 feet so i have to minus uh six inches off that because there's going to be a six inch beam on top running this way um this way across sitting on top those two posts and that's where the building will sit so one more one more rafter on the far side stand those two beams up that we go get to mill and once those are up then we jump over here to this side up here and we start putting up i think we put up um four more i think over here and then we're done let me see two four six eight ten eleven twelve so six more so we put three three on either side down here i believe it, or is that post in the way Yeah, I, no, it'll go up there. Yeah, so we can put six up there, and then we start putting our short ones in here that runs up to the bottom of that uh, bottom of the wall for that upper building. Ah, did not too bad. I don't know if you can hear it raining, but it's still raining out here. I had to, we had to keep Heather and I were taking turns wiping the wiping the camera lens off. Yeah, I wasn't liking it. Yeah, that's so. why the the one video was so blurry. Yeah, because it was like all the rain and snow and nastiness but we got to put our stuff away we got to go up there and we got to bring down all of our tools put it away and then i'm gonna feather can hold this i'm gonna start that generator up here i'll show them how i start that generator it runs so this this diesel engine i think it holds maybe a gallon of diesel give or take and what's the best we got out at 13 hours now i think so that's running the running the whole house two freeze with the freezing so let's go show them how we start that don't slip it slip If you can go to the far side. Oh, I'm gonna unplug this to the house. This key to the house. So I don't have a key switch for it yet, but I will eventually make one. I want to build a cover over here too. But I touch it to that. I touch the power. So the ground is already hooked up here. So I just jump it here with a set of booster cables. And, oh, and I hold this, hold the decompressor in, and uh, I try not to get my face in the smoke. <laughs> So here, I think the starter's getting bad too, but. I'm loving it. This is this one I plugged the house in.
little better, not great. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video today, folks. Please give us a big old thumbs up and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye all.